Another week, another game. This week I head south and learn the art of the luchador in guacamole. Okay, so maybe I didn't learn how to be a luchador so much as play as a luchador who used cool moves to defeat an enemy. I mean, the game itself is uh, based in the Metroidvania style of gameplay. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it's a combination of the words Metroid and Castlevania. So, Metroidvania, yeah. Uh, those are two very popular franchises which have levels laid out in different rooms, which are all connecting in some form or room, and you can travel in between those areas, uh, and you use power-ups that you can get later to go back in previous areas and find new areas, and that's the very broad description of it. It's kind of like a tree. So let's, let's go with that. Yeah, trees. Um, in Guacamelee, the combat system is very simple uh, in, in one sense and very complicated in another sense. I mean, it's very easy to feed enemies in the beginning because they're kind of simplistic because it's early in the game. Then as the game gets later, uh, enemies are more difficult, which makes sense and the paths are trickier to kind of get around and require more combinations of buttons and certain combos which also makes sense um yeah so one of the things though that i loved about this game is the easter eggs in it i love easter eggs in most games and this one kind of had a, a different um, style i should say for them in the form of posters that you saw around two of the major cities in the game I mean, some that I saw were for like Legend of Zelda, Castle Crashers, Mario, Donkey Kong, Viva Pinata, Metroid, Mega Man, and they also had references to like memes like Grumpy Cat and uh, Insanity Wolf. But overall, I want to say that the game was a lot of fun. The story's pretty cool. Uh, the moves are pretty cool. It's it's very short and light, so it's not like it's taking up too much time for someone to have to go and complete it. And it is a lot of fun. It does again get a bit frustrating later, due to you know difficulty being. Uh, progressively more uh, difficult yeah that makes perfect sense so yeah uh, try it out it's a lot of fun I had fun I know there's a second one maybe I'll do that who knows but anyway that's all I have for this week here's the hint for next week as they say live and let lock see you next week